I got a new toy. Ben's Outlet had it and Steel A Day had it for 15 bucks. It is a external battery pack. It's a, a portable power supply to charge your gadgets and this one has a solar panel built in. So you can plug it into a mini USB and charge it or you can let the sun charge it. I tested it out today. It actually works. My phone was down to 40% and it brought it back to 90%. Well, it brought it to 100%, but not really. As soon as I unplugged it, it went to 90 So still a 50% uh, charge off the little battery pack that was inside here that I didn't even fully charge was pretty impressive. Now, at first I was really mad at these people, G24i.com, because they took such a wonderful idea, such a wonderful product, and they ruined it with this. I hate these so damn much, you have no idea. I mean, if it wasn't for what I'm about to show you next, G24 would be getting such a piece of my mind for making such a good product and then using these goddamn things. What sucks about these goddamn things? That's your input. Standard, universal, mini, A, USB. That's your output. A goddamn stinking, no good, slimy, sleazy, slanker, freaking fracking proprietary cable. You lose this cable, and this is a paperweight. You can't use it because there's no way you're gonna find this special cable anywhere. I mean, these are standard plugs, but you're never gonna find one. Worse, for some strange, stupid reason, this plug is different from this plug. So if you lose this and have your tip, you can't plug the tip directly into the device. It won't fit. It's like, come on, you're gonna use a special cable, the least you can do is make the damn plugs the same so I could plug a tip directly into the gadget. But no, they had to use a special cable. At least they give you a USB variant so you could plug this into your special cable and now you have a standard USB plug that you can use any of your USB plugs. What I would have liked to have seen was to put a USB plug on this so that I can use any USB cable. I don't have to worry about finding this or finding this or finding this or finding any of this crap that I hate. I could just plug a straight up regular USB plug and I'm gonna make this modification. I'm gonna epoxy this right to there and run the wires internal and connect to that socket so that I will have a regular USB port okay because they already bulge it here for the battery pack the bulge is no thicker with the USB plug so it'll actually balance it out it'll sit level so I'm gonna glue that right there like that and then I'm going to run wire from this internally and connect to that output port so that I can have a standard USB port on here. But the company gets a pass because they made a truly cool little gadget. Of course, after I charged it and used it, the very first thing I had to do was rip the little bugger apart. I knew this came with nickel metal hydride, so I ripped it to pieces. <laughs> And it is one of the most hack-friendly gadgets I've ever taken apart in my entire life. It was so easy to take apart. You didn't have to break anything. You didn't have to tear anything apart. Everything comes apart naturally. Everything has plugs. Nothing is permanently attached. Disassembling it is very easy. You pop out these little plugs. They're these little plastic plugs that cover the screw holes. Just take a really sharp paper clip. Might do it. Might not be strong enough. Um, but a little pick. Stick it in there and pry it up they'll pop right out you have one down here once you pry that off this battery compartment comes off and once you take the battery compartment off there's one more screw right here take that off uh, actually, I'm sorry two screws here and here underneath the battery so five screws those two this one and then once you remove this two more screws here and the whole back pops out now you gotta you gotta put a knife in here and you know pop it out because this back has little fingers here but you just push the sides out a little bit and the fingers pop right out. It comes apart very, very easily. And I am pleasantly surprised to discover inside is, ah, if I didn't drop it, 
is a double A battery pack, an actual double A battery pack. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for using a regular double A battery pack. Because that means I can replace your crappy 1200 milliamp batteries and put in some um, low self drain 2800 milliamp batteries, which will give me more than twice the power that this device originally came with. It's rated for 360 milliamp output, but it charged my Touch Pro 2 without a problem. It charged my Galaxy S2 without a problem. So it obviously puts out a little more than it's actually rated for. I was very, very surprised, very pleased. I'm going to replace that battery pack with a larger one because they are AA cells. You can get whatever nickel metal hydride batteries you want and replace it. If there's enough room, and I think there is, because there's actually some play in the back here. There's a lot of play, actually. I'm thinking, remove this pad. That pad's pretty thick. Remove that pad, and maybe even remove the plastic here and here, these little stand-up plastics here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an actual battery holder in here. The battery holder will have this plug attached to it, and then I can change double A's by simply popping them out and putting in double A's anytime I want. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a USB port on the back, double A's in the back, and this thing is going to be a very, very cool device. There's your battery back. Here's your front cover. I was afraid I was going to have to tear these off to get it apart. You don't. The back fits in here. As you can see. Very, very hack friendly. Um, here is the solar panel. It's actually a rather nice solar panel. It also has a plastic coating on the front here. I was worried about the epoxy, but I'm guessing that that is a UV barrier that they have on the front here. I thought it was one of those covers that you peel off, but you can see, maybe not in the video, the logo of the company, this little star logo, is all over the plastic. That's what led me to believe that it was supposed to be there. I almost scratched it up pretty good, <laughs> thinking I had to peel it off. Um, the solar panel just pops in here like this. And then you spread this out, and it falls in place. It's really wonderful. Here's your circuit board. This is the plug for the battery. This is the, oh, sorry, you didn't see that. This is the plug for the battery. So this plug fits here. This is the plug for the solar panel. This plug fits here. Everything plugs in. You can disassemble and reassemble this without destroying anything, without having to desolder anything. This simply pops in place here. I keep forgetting to make sure I move the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, this simply pops into place. It's a little hard to do one-handed, of course. There it goes. That simply settles into place. Um, you will have to put one screw in here. It's the last screw you have to remove right there. This screw comes out when you remove the two outside screws. And um, I'm happy as a pig and you know what. I mean, this thing is wonderful. Solar panel fits underneath, plugs into there. This fits into this socket on here which is how you get your plug for your battery so this thing it's almost like they designed this thing to be taken apart instead of designing it all to be soldered together and sealed up and hidden away so I'm I'm assuming that these I'll take a meter to them are the actual electrical connections for the output port so I'm gonna solder my own little pigtail to these connections here run them through the back and attach them to the USB port it comes with. So I will solder, I will tear this apart. Um, these are usually pretty easy to take apart. This little ring here probably pops off. Yep, that little ring pops off. This disassembles. I'll access the two electrical connections inside, solder the wires directly to it, epoxy that into place, and I will have a full-size normal USB port on the back of my device. Shush! And then I will use a regular USB port. Very extremely cool gadget. Um, Benzoutlet.com has them right now. I don't know for how long. Um, Steel a Day had them. You can get them online for about 15 bucks. It is a great buy if you like portable power and you love taking stuff apart and making it better. Increase the power of the battery pack, add the USB port, and you're good to go. This thing is amazing. Um, to you, G24 Innovations, if you want to improve this gadget to make it amazing, I mean, I'm talking going from being a cool gadget to an amazing gadget, full-size USB port, do whatever you have to do. If you have to add plastic housing up here to take one of these and put it here, do it. 
put a full size USB port on this so that I can forget about the dumb little adapters. Okay, I've got my own cables, thank you. That I can plug any cable I want into that. And you can supply any cable you want to plug into that. Second thing I'd like to see done is to replace the battery pack with a battery holder. You know, a three cell battery holder so that when the user unscrews this, he can simply remove the three batteries that are in there and put three of his own batteries in there. This does two things. This solar panel will probably last 20 or 30 years or more, especially in um, a non-continuous outside environment like an, a your person's going to use this. It's not going to sit outside 24 hours a day, so it's going to last even longer than your typical solar panel. Problem is, these batteries are going to last about five years. Tops, maybe six or seven if you're lucky. But probably after about five, the capacity is going to be too low to be usable. So you're going to want to replace it. So by having a standard battery holder in there, you can buy regular off-the-shelf, no solder required batteries and drop them in there. This also makes it easy for the user to upgrade the capacity of the batteries. This also makes it easy for the user in five years when the stops working to replace the batteries with new batteries and keep using the device a lot longer. So battery holder using non-solder batteries and full-size USB port and you will have an amazing gadget here. I am very, very impressed with this gadget. I'm glad I bought three of them. I'm going to try to get a few more of them because these could be very, very useful with those modifications.